Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Alan Becker Flash Tutorials. Um, so, today we're talking about how to make your screenshots explode. So, um, what I mean by that is when I take the start menu and make it explode. Um, another instance is right here. So, um, I'm not sure if or when you're going to use this in your animations, but it's, I think it's good to know how to make your, how to break up your screenshots like how I did with the Minesweeper and how I did with the Solitaire. It's a, it's a good technique, I suppose. Okay, so, to start we need a screenshot, so let's just take our start menu, take a screenshot. This is going to be tricky because it's a little transparent. I mean, you could still just capture the pixels, but if I were to be really nitpicky, I would capture this and then I would um, redraw this with a transparency and then redraw each one of these uh, text things, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to press print screen on the keyboard right next to F12 and open up paint press control V and I'm going to drag it all the way um, to the top I want to the top of the flower icon I don't know that why that's my icon but anyway um, drag the other edge to the other edge And that is perfect. So we're going to have to cut this off in um, Flash. So let's just save it as a ping. You want to avoid JPEGs um, because it will make it um, get artifacts on it. Anyway, I'm just going to save it to the desktop. Start menu. Okay, and then all I do is make a new file, Action Script 3.0, whatever, and um, take whatever it is, wherever it is, and drag it into Flash. Alright, so now we have our screenshot. So now what we want to do is break it apart so that we can edit the actual path of it. So we right click it and click break apart. And um, I'm going to get nitpicky here and draw around this with the line tool. And it is perfectly okay to get nitpicky. So I'm going to do this. And to make it straight, I'll hold down Shift. I'll do it all the way. Actually, yeah, I'll do it all the way. Oh, I can't hold down Shift for this. Okay. And then I'm going to press N for the line tool again. Hold down Shift. And then do another line here. Another line here. And another line here and here. And then I'm going to take the um, press V for the arrow tool and then drag these lines out approximately. Good enough. And then I'm going to select everything that is not inside the line, delete, take that one out, delete, 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 and delete. And then delete all your lines. You can just double click and then, oh man, what the heck, got to redo this one. Okay, that is good enough. 
then we want as you can see there's some it's getting really gross looking so if you go into the settings of the start menu properties and then change the compression compression from photo jpeg to lossless and allow smoothing okay and now all that uh gross stuff is gone okay so we can see through or we can see the the background through it but that's okay and this is just a practice um so now you want to break it up into pieces as you can see it's just a bunch of pieces yeah yeah okay um uh how about we just use half of it i'm going to separate it into half like they did like i did in the thing so um first you take the lasso tool and then you draw around it like that okay so you see that a jagged edge is selected so you press F8 and turn that into start menu piece one and this one we will call start menu piece two so let's not use this one and focus on this one okay um let's see so I'm gonna break this apart again and um, you take the lasso tool again so I press L and then I'm going to just draw a jagged shape right in the middle and then press F8 to convert it to a symbol I'll call it piece one so now part of it the broken up bitmap is a symbol and the rest isn't so now I can just um, select around it select more pieces and convert them into symbols so I have this selected so I can see where the boundary is I'm just gonna take the lasso tool again and make another jagged edge for the corner piece and then I wanna make sure that I deselect this. I'm gonna hit V for this for the selection tool, and then hold down Shift, and then press that. So now I press F8. Call this piece two. All right. So now we have two pieces. You can see them in the library, the two pieces. So now we take the rest and then just repeat. So make another jagged line. Press V deselect by holding down shift and clicking F8 piece 3 okay now I have a little bit more so I'm going to no I don't like that one I'm gonna make another piece like that deselect these two piece 4 and then keep going select these five and maybe two more and p6 and then the last one we can just turn that into a symbol p7 so now we have our beautiful seven pieces that is great okay now all you need is an explosion so um, um, I talked about how to make your own explosion uh, in the other tutorial. Uh, I don't think I have time to make a new one, so I'm just going to take it from the animation and uh, can use it. Let's see. First, I have to lock this and hide it, and then wherever it is. Okay, so. Here's a good example of what we're going to do. So what we have is the explosion. The explosion is on this layer down here. And then all each of the pieces is on is on its own layer uh, getting classic tweened. So 
four of them are above the explosion layer, four, three of them are below, and then there's another explosion off to the side, a smaller one. So So I'm going to take the explosion animation, copy it, and then paste it. So, um, yeah. Now, since it's in my library already, I'm going to delete it. So, in this animation, you can see that um, the pieces kind of start out really fast and then get slow motion. That is... Um, by making short classic tweens and then long classic tweens. So let's do that. Let's first select all and then right click and press distribute to layers. So now everything is on its own layer. Um, layer 9 is Oh, this remaining piece, so we can get rid of this layer because we won't use it. And um, maybe I'll actually go back in here and then add it. Okay, um, delete this empty layer. And now, and now we create a bunch of frames. We drag down here, press F6 so that we create keyframes so we have a start and an end so we're going to make them all go out from the center so I'm going to click and just move these out and now we create a classic tween see what that looks like alright that looks pretty boring so to add some spice we're going to rotate them. So click Q and then rotate each one a little bit. You can't really see, so maybe I will change the background color to black so you can see. Alright, so now it's a little more interesting. I don't know why this one perfectly aligned with that one. Okay. Now to add even more spice, we're going to um, skew them. So I'm going to go to the edge of the free transform and uh, do that. So make sure you click Q and then you can skew your things. So it looks like they're kind of folding out. So fold and then scale down so that they don't get too long. In this one, I'm going to just scale it so it looks like it's completely turning on its side. And that. And then maybe that. No, that. And then that. A lot of that. Okay. See how that looks. There we go. See, it kind of looks a little bit more uh, three-dimensional, right? So that looks great. Now we need our explosion. So where do I put it? It's right here. I'm going to stick it right in between in its own layer. And it's going to be huge, so I'm going to shrink it. Make it bigger. And um, the middle one, I want it to be on top for sure. So wherever that is, it is on the bottom, so I'm going to move that up. And actually, I want to, I think I might just put this on the very bottom. Yeah, that looks better anyway. Um, Yeah. Mm, but it would look nicer if there's something underneath it. So maybe I'll put this one underneath. And this one too. Yeah. That looks more 3D. 
So, um, to give it the fast and then slow effect, we take um, a key, put a keyframe down the line here, and then drag it all the way to the edge. So we are taking a long animation and making it really short while lengthening this short one, if that makes sense. So I'm going to uh, press F6 down here, F6 down here, and drag it all the way to the beginning. And then it will look like this. Yeah. So, um, the explosion is a little bit early. So, if you want to change when the explosion happens, then you can actually go into the looping down here. It, it says, or it designates what the first frame is. So, you can change it to, like, frame 10 and then it will advance a little bit faster starts from frame 10 instead of frame 1 yeah all right good so i hope you guys learned something from that um yeah you can make your um, make your stuff explode i guess um so if you have any more questions or if you have any requests for tutorials i'm very open so just uh, send me a message through my website and uh, I hope you guys have fun with that, and I will see you guys later.